To be in with a chance of winning this emblem, simply drop a like and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we're going to cover all we know so far about the remastered raids coming with the Age of Triumph on March 28th. Now I posted a video earlier talking about what we knew so far about the Age of Triumph record book and if you missed that you'll find it linked in the video description. Okay so on to what we know about the raids that are making a return with the Age of Triumph. So all raids will return and offer endgame loot which drops at the current max light level of 400. The Prison of Elders will also return and offer endgame loot at a 400 light level. PoE wasn't mentioned much on stream but they did say it was returning. So the raids Vault of Glass and Cruelty's End will return and be playable at a 390 light. Both these raids will return with two new challenges i.e. challenge mode. Each challenge will offer an emblem but there's other things they didn't mention on stream that will also drop. These raids have been freshened up which is great to hear. So what about the loot? What about the whole point of these raids? Is there anything that will be new? And the answer is yes. The Vex Mythical class will return and drop from the Vault of Glass at a current max light level up to a 400. They made that super clear on stream. Armors from these freshened up raids will be new and each piece will offer two ornament slots. Interestingly, also the later raids, uh, the armor they offer will gain an extra ornament slot, giving it two instead of the one it currently only has. Now a big question amongst the community is whether or not these primary weapons from the first two raids of Vortal Glass and Crotus End, will they still have their elemental burns when they drop for us post Age of Triumph? Now I'm seeing that many tubers and streamers did not pick up on what Deej said via this stream. He talks about how us as viewers of the stream would want him to open up a character to show off all of the armor ornaments we will be able to use to decorate our guardians with. All of the red weapons that have been icons which are going to add back into the sandbox. Take a listen for yourselves. Uh, at this point in time you may want me to open a character and start showing all of the rewards that you're going to get all of the armor, armor ornaments that you're going to be able to use to decorate your guardian, all of the raid weapons that have been icons in and of themselves that we're going to add back into the sandbox. This is going to be a very detailed conversation. Clearly he states the raid weapons are returning, we all heard that. But further into the stream he mentions a stream in a few weeks which will showcase these items and how they will affect the sandbox. He states in a few weeks Josh Hamrick will join him on the stream and he will talk about how these things will impact the sandbox, how elemental primaries from the water glass will also impact the sandbox. Take a listen for yourselves. For the third and final stream in this series about Age of Triumph, we're going to have Josh Hamrick back on the hot seat and uh, Josh is going to talk all about how this will impact the sandbox, uh, elemental primaries from the Vault of Glass, uh, how that will impact the sandbox, how having Vex Mythoclass back will impact the Crucible. Now to me that basically confirms that these raids will return uh, with weapons, primary weapons that offer them elemental burns. But what do you think about it? Okay so moving on and with the Age of Triumph, in the director's menu we will have new weekly rituals which they are going to speak more about in the next stream. But they did mention a new feature called Raid of the Week where a raid will be featured, this raid will have its challenges available for you to complete for the extra exclusive loot. But interestingly, all challenges that feature raid offers will be up for completing that week it's featured. So the week it's the Vault of Glass which is featured, both challenges will be available for you to complete. The Templar challenge and the Atheon challenge, which I did stay on stream, will be the hardest challenge yet. So you are thinking what I thought when I saw the stream. What happens if the featured raid of the week is Oryx? Because most people have already done the Oryx challenge mode and got everything they could get. While they mention that they are adding new rewards, they state that old raids like the Vault of Glass didn't offer ghost shells. New raids don't offer sparrows. But they do now is the point they were trying to make on stream. So them and more I believe will drop from these challenge modes. So when the later raids are featured they will have new rewards for us to grind for. And like I said earlier armors will have new ornament slots too. Now come March 28th the first featured raid will be Crota's End. 
and it will come with some great new changes. I cannot fucking wait. They talk about the changes they have made, but only drop a speck of info. They state how they looked at these old rage and thought how could they make them shine. Now changes have been made, but nothing truly major, as they don't really want to take from the originals. But they have made them more fun and more player friendly. For example, the Oracles within the Vault of Glass, they've made that encounter slightly shorter. Now all raids will be available for you to do at any time at the max light they offer but only the featured raids will offer the challenges for you to gain that challenge mode loot. The Vault Glass was what was showcased and spoke about the most via the stream but there is plenty more to come. Next week and a week after we get two more reveal streams. Yeah, the stream in two weeks from today though is the big one for me. Within the stream they will showcase weapons, talk about how they affect the sandbox, showcase new raid armors and ornaments and so much more. I am so fucking hyped. Unfortunately though that's all the info we know so far to do with these raids post Age of Triumph. Over the next few weeks we will find out more and I will have you guys covered on any info that drops. So subscribe if you're new around here. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.